Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs. I'm really excited because we're in October and we're getting closer to Halloween. And I don't know if you love Halloween, but I certainly do. And, you know, I always wish that I was born in America because America, you really do celebrate Halloween. And in the UK, we can be, you know, a little bit reserved about it. But I was always the one out there trick or treating and you know, knocking on people's doors and having Halloween parties and dressing the house up crazy and loving it, loving it, loving it because it's a bit of fun and that's what it's all about. So you may be thinking right now about your Halloween costume. You may be wondering what you're going to wear. Maybe you want to wear a wig with that costume and you're thinking, hmm, what shall I do? So I want to really show you, wear with you and review with you a wig that I've got. Now I'm so excited. I haven't opened this wig even though I've been desperate to. I've been waiting for the right time. This wig is from California Costumes and it's the Tempting Tracy's wig. And what else? Is there any other information about it? Um, it doesn't really say anything else about it. So she's like a red and a black wig. She's kind of like got that real Alvira look about her. Just really powerful, I love it. So I'm really excited to try this wig on and see what's going on now. I am thinking I may need to trim the bang on this wig because usually with wigs, whether it's a high-end wig or, you know, a cheaper wig, then you have to, you know, the wigs come a little bit with the bangs a bit longer to customise everyone's face, to suit everyone. So you can cut them and customise them to suit your face. So I am expecting to have to do something with this wig to get it right, but I'm so excited to show you right out of the packet what it's like. And I have ordered this wig from Amazon and, you know, it's available from Amazon, but yeah, I think you can get this from anywhere. You know, on the back of the wig, it says it's imported by Angel's Fancy Dress in London, the UK, but I'm sure you can get this wig from wherever you are in the world. But let's try it on and have a look. So before I do anything, I'm going to prep my hair. So as you know, I just put my hair into a little low ponytail. I wrap it around three times and on the third time, just put a little bun in there just to anchor the wig. So let's see what she's like then. So this wasn't very expensive. I think this was perhaps 25 UK pounds. Not very expensive at all. She comes in a plastic case like that. And then as you can see, she's kind of got her own little bag. So a little bag, a little box, like a little plastic casing. So she is also in, she looks good already. She is also in this netting. So I'm just going to take all the packaging away. And I'm going to take her out of this netting. A lot of the Amazon wigs, the cheaper wigs, do come with this netting on. The thing I love about Good Iris Secret Wigs is when you get a wig from them, it comes in a packet. So you don't have to worry about taking off netting and stuff. So it already feels like the bang is quite long on this one. There's also some paper in there. So this is what she looks like. Isn't it a cool wig? really good for Halloween so this would look really good with a devil costume or you know like a red robe dress or something like that maybe even a black dress maybe a leather outfit you know you decide and you can see yeah the bang is quite long so it will definitely need a trim but we'll have a look when she's on and then if we turn her inside out the cap does look big but you know sometimes they do it can be misleading until you put it on it's got a label at the back and i'm just seeing if it's got any adjusters it hasn't it hasn't got any clips or grips or anything in it and yeah it looks like the ear tabs are a bit long they may be a bit painful i'm gonna have to see so let's try her on and have a look and this is first try without a wig grip band or anything if i'm wearing this wig i'll either put wig clips in it if i'm wearing it for halloween or if i want to wear this out and about or i will need to wear it with a wig grip band because to me at the moment the cap looks very big but we'll see and i'm remembering average cap size so we're just going to put her on the way would normally put her on so i put my head into the wig yeah it's a very big cap wow it's very very big this cap it's over my ears so mm. so it's trial and error with amazon wigs you just don't know I mean, let's see how we can get the wig. So you can see straight away. Let me just move all this fringe out of my face. I'm going to lift it up to my hairline. So it's about right there. Oh, the fringe isn't as, as long as I thought it would be. So it is long, but I can actually see what I'm doing, which is good. 
it does feel quite fake on my head uh, when I'm touching it. The hair itself here, because it is a synthetic wig, it feels okay. So here doesn't feel too bad. It is shedding a little bit of hair, as you can see, on my white cloth. But yeah, the hair feels quite nice when I'm touching the hair. And yeah, it feels okay. So if we go back to the picture, this is the way the fringe is supposed to look. And as you can see, it doesn't really look like that. But that's probably because I haven't yet intermingled the red and the black uh, on the fringe here. So I'm going to get a comb. But so far, so good. So far, so good. I'm actually quite impressed with the wig. So I'm just going to close my eyes and brush the fringe down. So yeah, might need a little trim. It's not too bad. It's not down here, which is really good. Could easily get away with this if you wanted it as a little side bang or, you know, maybe cut a little bit off this wig, off this fringe. But you can see how now I'm kind of, you know, mingling in the colours. It doesn't look too bad at all. So... And I actually read a review where there was a, a singer and she said she'd bought this wig for one of her events and she'd worn it at a rock concert. And I thought, wow, what a cool idea. So now when I'm talking about whether it's a big wig, the ear tabs are right over my ear. Can you see that there? They're right over my ear. So usually if it's a good wig, the ear tabs would come in there. But the whole wig... I've got to put over my ears, which isn't very good really, because it's not going to be very comfortable. So at the moment, it isn't feeling very comfortable. Now, let's have a look at the side of the wig together. So you can see the colour. The colour is very different, unusual and pretty. I do like the colour. This would be a perfect costume wig okay, for Halloween. You know, I don't think this would be a good wig to wear out unless you're going to alter the cap because... You know, it may feel different on you, but for me, it just feels like it's a very big cap and I've got it over my ears, which isn't comfortable at all. And because of what I want the wig for, which is possibly Halloween or, you know, an event like that, I don't think I would need to cut these tabs out because I think even cutting the tabs out isn't really going to make a difference on the wig cap because it's a big cap. So even if I cut these wig tabs out, it's still going to may not sit right or I might cut some of the hair out there I don't want to do so yeah there we go we'll call this the Alvira wick or Alvira wick should I say so it's not too bad not too bad I think I may possibly need to trim the fringe a little bit just to get it looking a bit better let me look in the mirror because it is different in the mirror yeah the fringe needs trimming a little bit just need to make sure that I've got it up to the hairline so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to put a wig band on and or put the wig back on with the wig bands. I'm going to trim the fringe and then I'm going to come back and show you the end result. Let's do it. Okay, I'm back. So I've customised the wig. So what I've done, as you can see, is I've cut the bang. Now, it does look like it's a big kind of triangle on my head. So to me, it feels very cone-like. Now, I've got the wig band on, so I'm going to take it all off and show you and put it all on again. But what I'm finding with this wig, now that I've put a wig band on it, so I've secured the wig, not only is it very painful because the ear tabs are over my ears, as you can see, because the cap is very, very big, but it's kind of going into a high cone-like type of wig. So it's giving me height on my head where I don't really want height. But other than that, it's okay. So I went into the bathroom and when I cut a bang, I'm quite good now at cutting bangs. I just grab bits of the wig just, and then I just cut up. Just kind of where I want it to be so I can see. Because to me, it's more important to see than anything else. So I've actually done it where, you know, I've been grabbing little bits of the, the kind of black bit of the wig and pulling it into the red bit of the wig to make it even. And I do feel that, you know, what this reminds me of is, you know, the way that this hair is kind of on top of the wig. It's like a bad toupee where it's just there, you know. And it reminds me of, you know, when you go into a hairdresser's and they show you the um, colours before you have your hair coloured on the chart and they're like little triangles of colour. It reminds me of that. So close up, if you look quite close up, it looks very odd. And it creates this kind of cone effect 
But, you know, if you were wearing a hood with this and a Halloween costume or, you know, if you were out clubbing in this, and it wouldn't really matter. But what I find is the wig itself, as nice as it does look, and I do like it, it's very uncomfortable. So to wear this for a long period of time, you know, unless, you know, you felt it was comfortable for you, I feel that the cap would need to be adjusted. And I don't really want to be cutting bits out of the cap because of the style of the wig. So, yeah, interesting because it's a nice wig and I can see what they've done with the wig. But it's just not really, you know, advisable to wear it all the time. So I definitely wouldn't wear this as a daily wig unless I did something with the cap itself. And, you know, you could get away with this at a party or a Halloween costume. But again, you just have to be very aware of what's going on with your ears because you don't want it hurting your ears or cutting into your ears in any way. But other than that, it's not bad at all. So this is the way I've cut the fringe. I've left the length. So let's have a look again together. You know, at the, the style of the wig here, the colour. You know, it's not too bad at all. For a little costume wig for Halloween, you know, if this is something you're looking for, this would be a good option. You know, it does look quite good in the mirror as well. So, you know, this is quite a good option for you. And, you know, it's easy to trim the bang. You just grab bits and then I perhaps cut a little bit off there as well. But yeah, not done a too, a too bad job with this at all. So this is the wick. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what it actually looks like. Obviously, it's going to look different on the picture than it does on someone's head. But as nice as it is, it is very painful on the ears. And I am feeling it's quite cone shaped for me. So yeah, that's what I think about the wig. So let me know in the comments below. And I'm just going to take her off. So I've put my Good Ivor Secret Wigs wig grip bands on. So all I do with this is I just put it on. And you can, you know, it shows how quick and easy it is to get your hair ready for a wig. You know, just put it on. So this is going to hold the wig on. So this is the front of the wig. Now I've cut the fringe on it. And again, the colour. But again, in the cap, we'll go back into the cap. It's the, look how big the ear tabs are. You know, the ear tabs don't need to be that big. So I don't know why they've made them that big, unless it's because of the style of the fringe. But yeah, so I would perhaps, if I was going to wear this wig properly, I would perhaps have to cut that off. But then I'm thinking, is that actually going to damage the style of the wig? But again, you know, this probably is a wig that I won't wear unless I do that. So perhaps I should do that. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to cut them out, okay? And if I ruin the, the wig, I ruin the wig. But I'd much rather have a wig I can wear that's comfortable than have a wig that's going to sit in the drawer and I'm not going to wear because it's uncomfortable. So let's cut out these wig taps. So I'm going to cut them out. So I'm going to do them with you. So let me grab my bin and I'll grab my scissors because... You know, I want to do it with you as well, so you can see how I do it. So I'm going to do it standing up so you can see. So this is where I don't want the hair, okay? I don't want the hair. So I'm going to go around that way. So I'm going to start about there and cut it off, okay? So I'm just cutting it off, dead simple. It might damage the fringe. That might be the whole reason why they put this as a bigger ear tab. But you can see the hair coming out. That's quite normal. Okay, if hair comes off when you do it, it's very, very normal. You can see in the bin, there's quite a bit of hair there. But I'm just hoping it's going to make the wig more comfortable because I hate uncomfortable wigs. You know, I've been spoiled with Good Irish Secret wigs and now I don't want uncomfortable wigs. So here's the other one. So you can see the difference of what I've done there. I've cut that off and that's how big the other one is. So now I'm going to cut that one off. So I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to start about there. And I'm going to work up to where it goes. Okay, there we go. Clicks in. So a lot of hairs come off there. So again, I might have damaged. We'll see. And you'll know yourself if it's doable or not. Okay, and for me, you know, this is a cheaper style wig. So, you know, if I damage it, I damage it. But I'd much rather have it comfortable and wearable than uncomfortable and unwearable. Wouldn't you? Okay, so let's put it back on then. Very nervous about seeing if I've damaged this wig, but we'll soon see. So is it comfortable? Oh, it feels better. 
feels a lot better. So I'm going to find where the label is. And that's the thing, you know, when you cut the, the ear tabs off, you have to use, you know, your senses to get it into place because you need to know where, you know, the, the wig is straight and so forth. So, well, it feels wearable now, okay, because it's comfortable. You can see how I've took all that ear tab off. Oh, it's like a different wig. It's like wearing a different wig. Honestly, I know that it looks ridiculous at the moment, but I've got to sort the fringe out. But it feels wearable now. So, you know, you can definitely, if you cut them tabs out, just feeling it all around the ears. Yeah, it's not hurting my ears. It's not pushing on my ears. And that's with the wig band. So it's definitely wearable if you cut the inside of the cap out. And for some reason, it feels lighter. I mean, I know I've just cut a big chunk of the wig out. You can see in the bin how much hair's just come off it there. But even still, you know, it, it does for some reason feel lighter. It feels like a big weight's gone off my shoulders. You know, I'm like, ah, oh, I can wear it now. Now, this is the bit I'm talking about. You know, this is the bit that to me looks like one of those things that you get when you go to the hairdresser and say, do you like this colour? And you put it against your own hair so it's a bit, I can't really see why they've done it that way, you know. Surely they could have created the wig better than just putting that on top of the wig, you know. But it is what it is. So let's try and get her into the style then. So, you know, making sure first of all it's up as high as I need it to be. And, you know, you can see with the hair, you know, it's a bit, the, the hair itself under this bit reminds me of a clown wig. You know, it's like that red of a clown that you get. So I suppose I could get my comb and, you know, start by brushing this bit into place first. Just to get the, you know, the base for it. And then the red, the, the black bits go over the top like this. So, yeah. I'm quite liking it now, you know. Let me just have a look in the mirror. Because it does look totally different in the mirror than it does on camera. So... Yeah, still, we've got, still got that comb look, which is really, you know, it's such a shame it's doing that. It's got this cone appearance to it on the top of the head. Can you see that there? It looks like a big cone on my head. I suppose I could put a, a witch's hat on or, you know, if you're wearing this for Halloween, you could wear a robe or, you know, something that covers it up like a hood. But, yeah, it is a little bit like a cone shape. But it's a decent wig, it's not bad as a costume, you know, if you wanted to wear it, if, you know, you're a bit in a goth mood and you wanted to, you know, go and be a goth for the night or you wanted something a bit gothy. And I used to love being a goth, okay, I was a goth when I was growing up and I would have loved this hair then. So, yeah, I mean, I still need to take a little bit of fringe off. This is how I do it. Can you see there? I would just get my scissors and put them at an angle up and cut it off. That's how I do it with all of my wigs, with my Godiva's wigs as well. And I have got a new wig from Godiva's that's called Brooke, and that's got a fringe, so we'll need to cut that as well. But yeah, look at this. So just get it into style however you would want it. But she feels so much better now I've cut those ear tabs off. Honestly, I can't tell you how much more comfortable it is. So it's wearable now. Okay, so I would wear this now, not out and about, I don't think, I'm not sure. Yeah, I do wear my wigs, you know, I haven't got any confidence issues about wearing a wig, you know. I would wear this wig out and about if I felt it, if I was in the mood, you know, if I thought, right, I'm going to be a rock chick tonight, I'm going to go out in this wig. It's just this comb bit that makes it look fake. If that wasn't there and they perhaps created the wig differently, it would look more realistic. I know on camera it looks quite realistic, but when you're actually looking in the mirror, and I'm always honest with my reviews in these wigs, looking in the mirror, it just looks comb-like on my head. You know, it just looks a bit comb-like. And Ah, okay, let's look at that there. Yeah, can you see at the side? See, I've only just noticed that, but if I pull the hair over a little bit, you can't really tell. It looks like there's a little bit of hair missing there. So I just, this side's fine, but this side, you know, I would have to make sure that I just align it over my ear a bit because obviously I've cut a big ear tab out. So, but again, you know, if you're just wearing this for Halloween, who cares? 
who cares? You'd be like, you know, you could go as like a zombie bride or, you know, anything like that. But I do quite like the wig itself. I mean, I love reds anyway, so it's got red and it's obviously I'm going to be a big fan of that. And, you know, it's different. It's something a bit different. And nowadays, you know, people cut their hair in all kinds of different styles. So I'd much rather cut the ear tabs out and have, you know, a little bit of hair missing than have a wig sitting in a drawer that's uncomfortable and I can't wear because, you know, I don't understand why they've made those ear tabs the way they do. I mean, the thing is as well, with the Amazon wigs, it does baffle me a little bit why they make them that way they do because, you know, it's only a few of the Amazon wigs I've got that I haven't had to do that with, whereas on the Godiva Secret wigs, I don't have to do that on any because they're comfortable and they feel right and they're aligned in the right place and... I don't know, it might be what they make them with and that's perhaps why, you know, they are more expensive and these wigs are a lot less expensive. But let me know what you think, what your experiences are with, you know, costume wigs or cheaper wigs in the comment section. And let me know how you think about how I've styled this wig. But other than that, great wig for Halloween or any other costume party you're going to. But just be aware that if you get this wig... There may be that cone effect at the top created by this triangle of hair that no matter where you put it or what you do to it, it just seems to stay that way. But look at that. Now the sun's gone in. Doesn't it look good? Let me put this blind down. Sometimes the sun in here is very, very bright. So look at that. It is shedding hair. But, you know, I have just cut a little bit off it as well. But, yeah, look at that. That looks really good, actually. So for a costume wig... 20 quid, you know, maybe a bit more. I can't remember exactly how much it was. Not bad at all. So, yeah, like it. So, very cool wig for Halloween or, you know, maybe if you were going to an event, like, you could imagine Cher having a hair like this, you know, or, again, it's like an Elvira wig to me. You know, it's just a very cool gothic type wig. Very rock chick. Do like it. Just a shame that they've done that with the top bit. Otherwise, it'd be good. But I could easily wear a hat with this and nobody would know because now it's comfortable to wear. It's not hurting my ears. It's secure to my head because it's got wig bands on. And I do quite like the colour. So, yeah, not a bad wig at all. Not a bad wig at all. There it is again. Let's look, look at the full glory. I'll do a turn, actually. Let's do a turn. So, I could even do a little short to music in this, put some rock music on. So, we've got the side of the wig. You can see, you can see here on the side, it looks fine. You know, you can't really tell I've cut anything out of there. And then this is the back. And then if I turn to the other side, you can see a little bit. Can you see there? If I pull it back, you can definitely see I've been cutting things out there. But if I put it over, you know, it creates the illusion that it is hair. You see? Interesting. So that is this wig. I'll put the details of it in the description box below what this wig is. But I have seen this in, you know, shops in places like fancy dress shops. So I think this is a wig that you would probably be able to, you know, get very easily if you wanted to. Or something very similar to this. So yeah, Elvira wig or rock chick wig, maybe for Halloween. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.